Welcome back everyone, this is Edgarin108 and you're watching Infinity Blade Chapter 3 The Deathless. And by Deathless I mean a total of 3 Deathless and 4 being a mystery. I will show you what role the Infinity Blade plays on fighting the Deathless. So the first enemy is always this type, Big Sword and Big Shield. Just parry the sword and evade everything else. If you lack time, then block, get ready to parry and evade again. In addition to your personal attack points, which mine are 47, the infinite blade gives you an additional 200 points. And depending on your attack strength, you could add up to that. Couldn't stand a chance, huh? Well, that's the power of infinite blade. It took me 11 bloodlines to get it along with it constantly defeating the guard. Do this and you may find yourself having the infinity blade this soon, more or less. Oh, and if you hear the sound, that means that your potion box is full. Yes, my bar. Just like the last champion, carry the sword and evade everything else. Like you feel the champion is too fast for your reaction. Do this with every enemy and you will do just fine in the whole game. Always look around for gold, potions and treasure ships. This spot will always have a treasure chest available, so make sure to get it. Alright, so take this route in order to get into the dungeons. There's usually gold laying around as usual. Make sure to get it by looking around the cutscene or by moving the camera around. Yeah, yeah, I'm impressed. Let's see if you can keep me whole for one minute. seconds. Oh, so you want more? Alright, so as I said before, black points can add a bait. Ah, not even 30 seconds. Alright, so leveling up means I get two skill points which I can distribute on my health, attack, shield, or magic. Oh, look who we have here. We got the wood jester. And a treasure chest. Make sure to get it. So the wood jester is a very tricky character. It uses two swords, adding a variety of attacks, and likes to do run fast kicks. Watch out where you evade and parry as much as possible. Then again, if you're using the infinity blade, you probably don't need to strategize too much. Alright, so I came to finally show you the dungeons where the deadless are. Glory, 
so in this part of the dungeons there is a staircase leading to the throne room and a pedestal that opens three doors three doors that leads to the deadless the gate in the middle is the final place to go but I won't dwell on that place for now so as you can see this this pedestal it has the same shape as an infinity blade so what this character is going to do is it's going to put it in and you can see some technology he's gonna click on it and then the three doors I mentioned are gonna open I'm gonna be going one by one from starting from right to left So the first Deadless, he's actually pure brutal strength. He attacks and attacks and he doesn't do pretty much, he doesn't do really anything else than that. But he's pretty fast so do watch out for his moves. And one attack can actually damage you a lot compared to the other enemies. I will let you enjoy the first Deadless without me interrupting. Well, that was a pretty shiny attack. I think it has to do with the Infinity Blade attacking a Deadless. Alright, so moving on to the next place. Alright, so it looks like this Deadless actually keep the door shut. Alright, so moving on to the next door. Let's see what's behind this one. Oh, they call him Cuero. He must be a pretty nimble character. Unlike the last Deathless, this Deathless is actually easy to kill. With the exception that he is very skilled, so if you, you just stay on your toes with his attacks, he is gonna kill you really fast. But as you saw, as soon as he started to make a special move, I threw fire or something to, make, to stop him from doing those special attacks. Those are the ones that kill you. Alright, so pretty much everything I have now is master. So it's about time for me to get an upgrade on my things. 
so far I have a new shield and a new ring that I got from these enemies. So I'm gonna equip that. I'm gonna sell that. And then I'm gonna get the dragon ring. And I'm gonna sell the my old ring. Alright, I was waiting for this. I'm gonna turn my character into the God King. Or his successor. I just need to afford the mask. And for that, I'm gonna sell my old mar armor. And now I'll buy the mask. Alright, here comes the last imprisoned deathless. Let's see if he can put out a fight. For this enemy, be careful with your boots. He's actually really fast, so sometimes you cannot retaliate fast enough against his attacks, so be careful with him. Oh, and I forget to mention, he doesn't get tired very easily, so you don't see that many breaks. Finally! Ah, uh, wasted magic. So like I said before, he doesn't get tired very easily. Trick to successful break. Evade. Block. Evade. And evade again. Oh, 
Alright, versus this enemy, I think it's gonna be the first time ever they're gonna suggest not to use parry all the time. Oh, and again, I gotta say, this guy is really put a awesome fight. Alright, so you're ready to save the princess from the Mushroom Kingdom? Or are you ready to fight a real bad guy? Or are you ready to become the next God King? Ooh, imagine if that happens. Well, let's get in and find out what's gonna happen. Alright, so... All our battles... Lead us to this place. A chamber with technology with god kings all over the place wow I wonder what might happen will they attack us? will they do something to us? or will I become like him? yeah not Humble enough for that reward. You better, you gotta do something better than that. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna equip my the sword I just got, and I'm gonna start battling. So, like the last enemy, be careful with his attack, because he's fast, avoid carrying like crazy all the time. Sordano's the Bojita Banada. 
You are Victanos of Ichilo. What? What is he? What do you want to do with the Dana Loi? The Tabana of Infinity. Imagine Nada la Dumana Dana, Costana Han. Oh, Nichi! Yusa, Desini, Loi, Herin Dada. Herino Alos and Dallas, Dumari Dana, Infinity, and Dosios Lilo Stara, Astrobados. Nidiemos Royal Dana, Dumari Dana. Duma, Alan Infinity Lona. Woe, Idiosa. Nidito Alada and Atrada Iloi. Alright, let's see who's the fool once I finish you up. Yeah, you tell him. Alright, so this enemy is a skill. Kinda like a Gatkin level, but he's not very. Uh, he dies very easily. That's all I can say. So as long as you don't let him do his special moves, you're fine. Alright, so once you defeat this guy, you have the option to get to play new, a new game plus. And with that, you will keep your level, but all your weapons get resetted, so you have to buy them all over again. But you can start all over mastering them, so you can continue leveling up. There's also an item, well no, a whole armor with a helmet and everything available. Which it's only available when you get class. So I see this is once you have this option, just go ahead and do it. So if you like my video, make sure to add your thumbs up. And if you have questions, feel free to comment and I'll answer the best way I can. Alright everyone, thanks for watching and I'll look forward to see you in my next videos. Bye!